Dramatic rain events that pounded Draper this summer left behind all kinds of damage. And tonight the city's delivering some unwanted news to residents in the road to recovery as the rest of the county looks to prevent damage in the future. We have team coverage on the continued impact from this year's flooding. We're going to start things off with Andrew Adams. He spoke with homeowners who learned that they likely will not be getting any federal money to help cover those cost of repairs. Andrew? Well, certainly some disappointment about that. The city is saying, hey, we wanted some federal funds, too, to help cover infrastructure repairs, like what's been going on in the area of Highland Drive here in 1300 East. But residents are saying, regardless, the city needs to step up with some upgrades. I have fears of uh, even leaving for half a day. If it looks like it's going to storm. Even at a time when the sky was blue. The first one got in my house and two windows and filled my garage. It was impossible to forget when it looked much different. It took two weeks of six days a week to clean that up. Quinn Horrocks says a massive rain event on August 3rd overwhelmed the neighborhood, flooding his and other properties. And it happened again on Labor Day. That's how much water was coming down my driveway. Like many other homeowners across Traper City, they had to gut their whole basement. Horrocks has been stuck with a cleanup cost. This one, they just replaced their carpet about a week ago, two weeks ago. And now, officials say the damages from the August 3rd storm failed to meet the minimum cost for FEMA funds, and federal low interest loans also look unlikely. I don't think it's a FEMA issue, it's a Draper issue. It's been a Draper issue for 20 years. Horrocks says infrastructure has simply been lacking along 138 South something he says the city has pledged for years to fix, but hasn't yet. If they can't do curb and gutter right now, they could trench all the way on this side, put a half moon gutter in there. A spokesperson says the city is hoping to add curb and gutter in the coming budget year, and neighbors say it couldn't come soon enough. Like the rain, but just not all at once. Well, the city is saying it continues to make progress with repairs, talking about areas like Bingeter Parkway, Mike Weir Roundabout, of course, 1300 East here, and several other areas around the city. Thank you. Yeah, you can certainly understand the frustration there. Andrew, thank you.